just to get better, make better songs, and I don't know. I really like through the last three years with all the touring, every one of us is getting better at playing their instruments and stuff. So going back to the studio, we just want to do an even better job than we did on the first one. Yeah, we didn't really have any master plan when we made a new album. It's, yeah, it just basically turned out the way it did. We made 11 songs and yeah, that's the songs that are on the album. We didn't, you know, like everything else, we don't overthink your stuff too much. It's as long as uh, it's good, we'll, you know, we'll do it. So. Uh, yeah, I think, like Peter said, uh, I think we become better, at, you know, just from all the touring we did on the first album. I think we become better at playing our instruments and just more confident too. Like, yeah, it was like the first record was the first time we were in the real studio and made a record. This time we kind of knew what we were getting into. We knew Kurt, we knew us. So it was more, it was just more relaxed and, and easier in a way. Yeah, and I think we managed to expand on the sound on the first album. Uh, like we're doing uh, some new stuff on this one and like, yeah, it's, I think we're pushing our limits. Like it's heavier and it's more like catchy and yeah, doing a lot of different things on the, on this new one, so yeah, we're super happy with it. All the songs are new except for one song uh, called Sneel the Pisk. It's actually uh, like the first demo we ever recorded, so uh, yeah, it's so. It's like a re recording of that song. Yeah, it just mm -hmm. fit in with the new song, so it's just a cool thing to do, so. We had some time up from tours. We had like two really intense months, and I think it was June, July when we rehearsed a lot before we hit the studio. We the studio in August. So, I mean, all the songs are like pretty new. Yeah, they're super fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, in my approach is I just write about stuff I think sounds badass and make for good lyrics, but. Uh, I just stayed, uh, the only rule I had for myself this time was to stay away from Norse mythology. And yeah, the only exception on the new album is on the song, last song called Fellow Talk. That's, uh, yeah, there's some Norse mythology in there, but that's just a shameless band anthem. So uh, it's basically on being on the road. Uh, you know, I dress in as metaphors like Vikings, uh, you know, they're raiding and you know, stuff like that. <laughs> but on the new album, it's everything from like tree panning, uh, like drilling a hole in your head, to it's like an old surgical, uh, uh, old surgical, um, what do you call it, intervention? Yeah, that you did in the old days to uh, to mental patients in order to release evil spirits. So that turned into a lyric, and uh, yeah, then there's song about songs about quitting your day job and uh, everything from performing rituals to uh, you know, to get the great old spirit to enter your head and yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of crazy stuff on there. <laughs> yeah, it's our first uh, stage prop actually. It's uh, some it's an artist we know in Norway. His name is Eric Tidemann. He's a crazy guy. He makes like oh, uh, he makes like wolves with six heads and yeah, pretty insane stuff. Uh, yeah, he made a he made an owl mask for us, and yeah, it's just something we're gonna use some like when we play like really big stages and you know just kind of spruce up the set kind of. So yeah, it's just a cool thing to do. Yeah, it's uh, because uh, that kind of owl is uh, in danger of becoming extinct, so uh, we have to carry papers around to show that we're allowed to have it. Uh, it's been dead in, you know, that owl, that particular owl, uh, it's been dead in the freezer in Denmark since 2003. So I think it's a good way of it. I think it's much better for it to come on the road with us than, you know, being in the freezer in Denmark. <laughs> so I think it's a good way for it to end up. Yeah. <laughs>